हेलो 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 वेलकम एवरी वन टू दर्टीन एपिसोड ऑफ डॉक्टर चेस वेर आई आई एम सागर शाह इज हियर एट योर सर्विस फॉर चेस इम्प्रूवमेंट well that's the intro as always yeah i like it very much and i play it uh, it's made by prakhar so big thanks to him many of you asked me uh, you know why 7:30 today what's up with this first of all you stopped uh, doing it in the morning but now you did this dr chess like improving chess has stopped in the morning dr chess uh, used to happen at 8 but now 7:30 well the reason for today uh, advancement in time is because i have some very urgent work at 9:30 to be done uh, and i need 2 hours to go through everyone who you know who has some issues usually 2 hours is the ideal time so that's the reason why i started at 7:30 today and with regards to the morning se- series of sessions i believe that um, we are going to soon begin something at 8 am i think in a day or two i have couple of series that are that are in my mind um so i'll be sharing it soon uh, one one of them is um, related to the classics to the games which you must all study but it's not uh, just uh, that i want to show you games i also want you to learn the art of thinking analyzing and that's the reason why this is one thing that i want to begin uh, and another one is how to learn from your losses so i want to start a series where i analyze my own lost games so these are some of the ideas and uh, uh, this will all happen in the morning at 8 am and <laughs> many of you who are missing these morning sessions will will enjoy them uh, <clears throat> one of the reasons why i feel that morning time is better for chess practice is because you are often fresh uh, i know that there is a clear bifurcation there are larks and there are owls you know this is the name that is given for people who work in the morning and in the evening so the larks are called the ones who work in the morning owls are one who wake who are awake late in the night and people say the productivity differs as such uh, for for if is say the owls start working in the morning then they won't be able to do well uh, well i generally believe uh, i agree with this concept uh, i have been an owl in my life also a lark uh, but i think from a health point of view sooner or later it's better to sleep on time and wake up because the longer you stay awake in the night the worse your schedule is and because we live in a society which functions in time frames which are uh, from morning until night and then everyone sleeps at night it makes sense to follow that uh, because you have to interact with people if you are doing something on your own let's say you are not going to school college or work then might as well have any schedule then you can sleep during the day work during the night but if you have to anyway go to work in the morning and then you are awake late night that's going to impact your health yeah so that was uh my small <laughs> uh discussion on morning and night issues we should get to chess and we should have our first callers uh joining in so if you would like to join in into this session of dr chess then here's how you do it yeah let me just share my screen with you so that you are uh you can see what's going on yeah so we have the discord server of chess base india the link is in the description there's a doctor chess room here and uh, there are <clears throat> if you are not part of this discord then do become one uh and here i am in the room and this is the appointment lobby so you just need to wait here and i will be taking you in and we will be discussing certain things yeah so that's how it will be so let's begin 
uh, I will have the first one Jarvis and the idea of Dr. Chess for all those who are joining in first time is that you come with your chess problems to me and like a doctor I will try to solve them try to make sure that you improve at chess this is the main idea okay let me get this in order so that I can hear people and also I want to take this out so let's get Jarvis is the first person into the room hello 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 sir hello hello yeah hi hi what's your name can you switch on your camera uh yes one second hi hello hello hi what's your name uh my name is saurabh gurbele saurabh yes saurabh, saurabh. where are you from what, what do you do i am tell us a bit about yourself and your chess uh, level beginnings how how good you are as a chess player Yes, so uh, I am from Nagpur and uh, I am an engineer from uh, Vijay Air Mumbai. Okay. And uh, I'm not a, a strong player, like I'm a sort of beginner player. But uh, currently I switch to play more of 10 minutes game rather than the 3 minutes game which I usually used to play earlier. Okay. So right now I am enjoying more of that uh, the 10 minutes game because I uh, get much more time uh, to uh, think about the uh, current position on the board. Yeah, yeah, sounds like a good idea. Uh, where do you play, and what's your rating online rating? Uh, I usually play at chess.com. Uh, my current uh, rapid rating is usually fluctuating between seven hundred to seven fifty right now. Okay. Uh, yes, and. Uh, my blitz setting is a uh, bit low than that. Uh, it's nearly 480 or 500, something like that. Okay, okay, cool. So, yeah. how can I help you? Uh, so, uh, one of, uh, I have two uh, major uh, questions for you. So, uh, first is uh, how to uh, find a proper break in a position, right? Once we have uh, developed uh, everything, once we have finished the development, and now uh, we, if we want to find a break, so how to find a proper break in a position? So that was the first question. And uh, another was uh, when uh, we are seeing a mate, okay, we, we have uh, tried uh, getting a mate, but uh, there is uh, in that process, but there is some uh, faster, uh, a quicker and a more uh, logical mate present, but uh, somehow uh, I am unable to find it uh, uh, at that moment. So I have just one game. So can I share it with you? Sure. So you can share your game with okay. me and we will also yes, uh, go through your first question. Yes. Let me make sure I, I have shared my screen with you so you can see it. Uh, let me know if you can see my screen. Uh, one second. I will be trying to load a chessboard on it. Uh, yes, I can see. Okay, fantastic. So let's keep the board on one side. Uh, where where are you sending me your game on Discord? Yes, I've sent the game. Okay, I'll I'll check it out. Uh, one very important rule in chess, it comes from a thing called as pawn pointing, sort of a theory. Okay, uh, about breaks. Do you know about it? No, I don't know the technical term, but uh, I don't actually know okay. about that. So, so for example, let's say e4, e6, d4, d5, e5. Now, yeah. it's a very basic, only four moves have been played here, three moves in fact. But already, if you look at it, battle lines are sort of drawn in this game because the black pawns are pointing this word and the white Towards pawns, the queen's way. yes and white pawns are pointing this way so you see yeah. that whichever directions your point pawns point usually the break is coming on that direction so if it is black to move now what would you play here 
black to move i'll try to attack the d4 pawn using the knight like this knight c6 yes okay try to use the pawn pointing theory and try to go for a break so your play is as i said is over here right let's let's flip the board so you can see it better so this is the way yeah. in which your pawns are pointing towards so you want to play on that side of the board on the queen side so how do you take yeah. your pawn break you you uh, are completely right you want to attack here but the problem is once you attack here i defend this you are not going to be able to attack this pawn any further because it's defended by a pawn so what should you do how do you weaken this structure i can uh, i can play c6 to uh, support uh, d Five and then again push it further or directly c5. Yeah, why why do you want to play like Indian chess? You remember, uh, you know, back in the day, people used to play Indian chess and they would be like only can push the pawn one square at a time. Yeah, yeah. So here, yeah. absolutely, you go two squares at the time, same time, and yeah. you play c5, and this is an excellent move because you see this is a pawn break on the side of the board where you have to be playing. Mm -hmm. Once he plays c3 now to cement his position. Now, when you take take just as an example and put your knight on c6, you will then be attacking a pawn which cannot be defended by another pawn. So once yes. he cannot defend this with another pawn, you can put more pressure on it with your pieces. Like you can go with your queen here, attack this pawn, then you can bring your other knight knight like this okay. and attack this pawn so you see pawn break is very important now yeah. by that logic okay imagine that you do not understand this concept of pawn break you play the move knight c6 i play c3 your open uh, opponent plays bishop d7 now how yeah. should white make his next pawn break according to you Um, where should white go for a pawn break so white should go on the uh, king side because the like the theory suggests yes. the pawn pointing theory suggests that uh, if the pawns are eyeing towards the king side so we should have a break out there yeah uh, but for that uh, Which move? Which pawn should you use to break the structure? So, of of course, we cannot uh, move the pawn on f two because there's no other pawn can attack it right now. Because even if we move to f four, so it will not be attacked by any pawn. So, uh, one more pawn that can be attacked by the black one is uh, c three. So, if we push on c four, uh, then it can take. Uh, the d d takes c yeah and uh, i i understand uh, no. i i understand what you are trying to say is that uh, pawn break should happen immediately but that is not the case it can happen after a few moves also so preparing okay. as you said f4 is the right move because you can prepare okay. now to go f5 in the next move yeah. with moves like bishop d3 putting your knight from e2 to g3 and then going for f5 so pawn break needn't happen on the next move itself it can also okay. be something that happens over a period of many moves so here yes. as you see these pawns are pointing towards this side so logically you should try for this break then this pawn becomes even stronger because this guy moves and it can later move ahead if required so how to take a break is in this way i can just clarify this entire uh, concept to you by showing you an example of the king's indian opening yeah we will take black knight f6 c4 g6 knight c3 bg7 e4 d6 knight f3 castles yes. bishop e2 do you know this opening uh 
I have not studied it uh, thoroughly, but uh, I know I have no basics of that. Okay. Imagine now that your opponent plays the move h3. Okay. Now you are black here, and you have just learned this sort of pawn pointing theory. You want to make understand how to break the position. What pawn break would you plan in this position? Yes, Hari Haran Sri Ram. It is worth to extend pawn king side pawns to break if the position demands it. Like here, this is a good example. Uh, uh, so, uh, right now, if we are not uh, trying for an immediate pawn break, uh, so we have pawn. Where do you think the pawns are pointing towards? Here. The pawn, the black pawns are pointing towards the king side. Fantastic! Of the white. Very good. See, it's pointing this uh, way. So, yeah. what break should you try and, for? Uh, we can uh, go if we are planning an immediate break. We can go for the G pawn, but uh, if there are some intermediate moves, uh, yeah, then I'm... yeah. Yeah, there have to be intermediate. You can't go for G pawn. It will just be lost. Yeah. yeah? So yeah. something else. Uh, so then we have to move the knight uh, on F6 uh, to get the F pawn in action. So the only logical square for it is D7 or H5, but. Uh, if we push it on f5 then uh, i can't see what's the problem in h5 so that is a forward move so we can do that i guess brilliant i am so proud of you very good knight h5 and you are now going for f5 break see you learned this so quickly you learned it very quickly and now the knight is very well placed on h5 it can also jump to f4 if required and you are preparing for the pawn break f5 over here and then you you start Supporting, playing yes. you start playing on the side of the board where your pawns are pointing and where you have the initiative by that logic white should try to create play on the queen side with b4 c5 you know try for this pawn break here okay yeah is this concept little clear pawn pointing theory uh, works in most of the positions sometimes it does not you will learn through experience when it works when it doesn't but it's a good starting point for you see yes. here i don't believe that before five minutes you could have ever made the moon h5 and gone for f5 so yes, in yes. five minutes now your understanding of chess or pawn breaks has improved yeah and yeah. this is by the way a very yeah. good move even if you give this to a king's indian expert he will play knight h5 like a grandmaster so you actually found a very good move yeah okay yeah. cool so you have one more game as you mentioned with you uh yes i've sent it on uh, discord okay let me just send a hi to you so Okay, saving the game. Okay. Uh, what's your ID? Uh, Saurabh Gurbeli. Yeah. The black. Yeah, the black. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, a big thanks to uh, Rohit Atelier for your super chat. Thank you so much, Rohit, for this. Also, thank you to St Sam Stan for the super chat. He says, I cannot seem to play more than two, three games in a day. My head starts to pain if I try to play more games. How do I overcome the issue? Sam, it's, it's a lot about uh, stamina in chess, how much you can uh, build your stamina. So we'll come to this question after 
I finish this okay let me get sour up here on the screen so you are black sour up what was the problem uh, yes. in this game uh, so uh, uh, if you can go to move number 18 okay this notation is quite So actually, I have uh, analyzed it on uh, leeches afterwards. So that's why I guess there. Yeah, it doesn't come in the best format. Okay. So you are black. Let me flip this. Bishop c4, queen a5, d6, b4. Move number 18. Okay. 18. Ooh, he gave up a queen. Yeah. So uh, here, uh, I was uh, I was seeing a mate somewhere, but I cannot recall it right now. But I missed the uh, uh, move D uh, one uh, here, forcing uh, the checkmate. Yeah. Uh, after in the analysis, I found it. Uh, I I was not able to find it at, at that time. Uh, but this is not the only one. After this, I uh, missed it, and another mate was uh, missed by me uh, again on I guess twenty. So, I guess this was a perfect example. So, yeah. how uh, okay. a mate is missed, a proper best mate is missed. So, that's why I've sent you this. Clip. So, here uh, you think you had another mating opportunity with maybe more like rook d2 uh, and then uh, yes. something like queen f3 Mintex. and checkmate like this. Yeah. 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 So these are some uh, logical yet uh, simple mates, but uh, I was going for a tougher mate, which I thought uh, is possible in that position. I'm not able to recall right now. Sorry, but uh, so what happens is that uh, there is one thing which you clearly need to uh, improve is your patterns of mate. So therefore, there are you know you need to solve positions. They are very important. If you don't solve positions, you will always miss such moves. So for example, knight into g5 is a very good move because you win a piece. But as uh, yeah. many good players and I think Lasker had said, when you find a good move, it often helps find to look for a better move. So here, yeah. rook d1 is not just a mate here, but it is the best move in the position. So your aim as a chess player is not that, yeah, I want to play chess or something, but you have to always try and find the best move. What is there in the position? So here, this move is good, but this move is the best. Yeah, it's, it's just like yeah. uh, when you are looking for admission uh, and you had VJTI as an option, you might have also had other yeah. colleges as options. SIS, yes. maybe Ruparel, maybe many others, yeah. But you are like, yes. oh no, VJTI is the best. I want to go there. And you go there. But if you get something else, it's not like your life is going to end. Same thing in chess. Yeah. If you play this move, it's not like you are going to lose. It's just that it's going to take a lot more time. And the way in which you yeah. become better at finding these things is by solving. The only way is by solving a lot of positions. So you need to solve lot of positions uh, yes so this game was uh, like 10 15 days ago game and after that uh, we had uh, like an improving chess two movement and three movement yes and uh, also the i guess uh, last to last episode was there on positional so i was there present so i was very nice that. does it help you that it's in the afternoon or morning is good uh, for me, anything is good because, but morning uh, helps to, uh, to wake up early and that's, uh, okay. that is, that helps in other work also following day. I'll, I'll show you one thing which you can do. You should go to account.chessbase.com and you should go to yeah. sprint. Okay. Yeah. And you should do this. For example, let's try and solve a couple white to play. Can you find? Uh, rook a8 very good rook a8 white to move 
queen g7 very good white to move Saurabh, are you there? Ah. Do I have some internet issues? Or is it Saurabh's issue? I think I think Saurabh is off off uh, offline. It's not uh, me, yeah. Okay, anyway, Saurabh, if you will listen to this, try doing this tactic sprint because see, there are mating patterns like these which you will practice and you will get better at it. See, queen c1 mate, mate in one, sometimes there are mate in twos, like this check, check, takes, and it will only help you to get faster. Okay, so that's how you do it, uh, and I think. Um, Let's stop this for now and let's go to the next one. Who is the person next? I will disconnect with Saurabh. The next person in the queue is A. Kabir Kanjani. Okay. <laughs> Still putting the A, yeah? Now there's a queue, so you don't really get to fool me. Kabir. Hello, Kabir. Can you hear me? Hari Haran, thank you for, for staying awake. And also, guys, uh, Hari Krishna's games yesterday were very interesting. I was working on them in the morning. But this Dr. Chess came up. So after this, I'll be making some videos, uh, especially Hare Krishna versus Carlson, Hare Krishna versus Aronian, also Carlson versus Dominguez, some nice games. We will discuss them. Okay, I don't see Kabir somehow coming on. I don't know why. Is there some issue? Let's go to the next one. If Kabir comes back, I will have him Abhi. Let's take Abhi into the room. Let me disconnect and let's is there some issue with the discord I'm not sure what? hello hello the discord I'm not sure Hello, Abhi. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi. Hi. Can you switch on your camera? Uh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, ah, can, Kabir, I'll take you next. Yeah. Is it visible? Yes. Now you are visible. Hello. Hello. I believe there's some issue in the discord perhaps yeah because my internet is fine I also think the viewers internet is good it's just that it gets hang it regarding what uh, wait I improve my internet connectivity somehow wait ah okay 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 okay, okay. okay. Wait. Yeah, Kabir, I will take you next, so don't worry. Uh, and also, Saurabh, I, I believe that uh, your doubts were uh, resolved, so no problems there. Prakar, nice to see you in the morning. Prakar is like, an, like uh, this is the one who, who has done uh, quite a few of the edits of Chess Base India videos, especially the... Amruta series on the beginners and uh, 
he is an uh, you are an owl yeah you stay late stay up late in the night so good to see you awake in the morning ah saurabh you are the one who made that video on the oh ah i understand now so nice saurabh it would have been very nice to to talk about that but okay abhi are you there is it better yeah you need to switch off is your camera and switch it off, switch it back on yeah now it now now it looks decent this to okay. okay tell me tell me about yourself where are you from what do you do and how's your chess strength how did you begin playing chess so i'm my name is abhishek i'm from delhi i'm a, a college student so um, i Abhishek, yes. Abhishek, your uh, video is is like in slow motion, moving in slow motions. I don't know some. Is it is it from your end or is it Discord which is? No, I improve my connection, but somehow. Anyway, we can hear you, so that's more important. I switch off the video. Yeah, you can switch off the video. That might be better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I have started playing chess from childhood only but uh I was not that much interested in that. But afterwards when I saw you and some I playing then I made made more it interesting. So Okay, cool. So yeah. so how can I help you? So actually my main problem in chess games is that in the middle game i play badly very much so uh, i am not able to find uh, the motion where to move so if i if there is a even position i will come there but after that how to proceed that's my main problem hmm hmm okay uh, how what's your rating online rating uh, i told you around 800 900 okay okay Yeah I guess what you face a problem is faced by many people in general so it's not like uh you are the only one who faces this yeah uh but let's let's try to to see okay let's let me give you one position from my own game and we'll try to see if you can come up with a good idea okay okay so this is my game against uh, a player called tomov georgi and as you said yeah yeah like you have difficulty coming up with plans so i give you this position as white try to come up with a plan for white how would you play tell us what you are thinking so uh, i was thinking about uh, taking queen on the g file okay so uh, but uh, alone queen can't meet the king yeah. uh, so i have to take a rook or the bishop in, on the same file as well okay uh, but how do i take it okay nice so you want to put all your pieces on the g file like this file yeah yeah uh... very interesting very interesting why do you want to put it there uh because uh, uh, on the g file as i see uh, i can make it easier i can make the king easier there okay so what what would be your first move let's see why to why it this is your plan so how do you yeah. play so let's okay. 
Mayank, nice move, yeah. Not not a bad move. What do you suggest? Okay. What what move comes to your mind? How do you continue? Now you have some plan. You want to play on the G file. You said why? Because this is an open file. You want yeah. to play here. So what would be your move? Uh, I mean, like maybe G file uh, is very nice. Uh, I want to yeah. play on the G file, but my move is A four. Something like that. <laughs> so so think think of it logically and tell me what would you play. Mm, I can... Uh, I can, uh, I am not able to think how to uh, move the pieces on the G file, so I have to think of another plan. Uh, Why? Maybe. Okay. Maybe B three. Uh, think taking off the knight. Okay. If you play B three, what would he do? uh he will take uh, take his knight back where or um, uh, uh a5 okay a5 is a move but after a5 you see the knight has no scope it is blocked by its own pawns and the white yes. pawn so maybe better yeah. to go to another square not a5 okay okay to b6 yes okay so now back uh, uh, the ball is back in your court now what do you play Is E four a good move? E four uh, here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you do you tell me is it a good move? Uh, I don't like it, but I'm not seeing anything else. But E four, if I if I take like let's say I take this. Oh, I didn't see the second pawn. Oh shit! Uh, you have to see when you play chess. You have to see. Otherwise, you cannot be a good chess player. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so here uh, b3 is a good move by you, not a bad move. I like it. You push the knight back, but now again the same problem as you said. Yeah, you have to come up with a plan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, a4. So more attack on the knight. Trying to push the knight away. Okay. Now, yeah. now let's look at it this way. Uh, Abhi, Abhishek. Yeah, your name. Yeah. You came up with the idea that you want to attack down the G file, but suddenly yeah. you said, "I cannot think of a way to do it," and you gave up that plan. Why? Yeah. So uh, because if I have to uh, move a queen and a, another piece to that file, mm. so I have to at least uh, uh, go king uh, uh, queen to first F two and then to that file. Yeah. So it will take. Uh, another two moves, okay. and uh, same for the rook or the bishop. Uh, for a plan to work, it will take at least two more move, four moves totally. Yeah. So to be on that file, so doing that four moves, I was not able to think those four moves. So that's why I dropped mm -hmm. that. Plan. Right now, you thought at least two moves. You said queen f two, queen g three. Yeah, yeah. Then what other moves can you think of to get to the g five? For your rook, how do you get your rook? Uh, maybe uh, King H one, uh, uh, King H one bishop, H uh, three rook uh, G two uh, G one. <laughs> you know you yeah. you you are playing like a very strong player now. Uh, see not in real time yes but king h1 is a very good move 
and yeah. it's just like this yeah like what what do you do in life by the way what, what is your yeah. are you a uh, student, I'm a student. I'm a, yeah i'm a last year engineering student engineering okay so you know some people will be like you know i think in my life i should do engineering but it's you know four years away i don't think i should begin doing engineering is the same with you you are like i want to attack down the g file but it's four moves away so i don't want to do it but it's a good plan and that is the need of the position so in the game what i did was i played first bishop f3 i put the bishop there instead of h3 like you wanted to do then my yeah. opponent went queen e7 i played yeah. king h1 knight yeah. b6 rook g1 rook c8 and now tell me how do you further bring more more pieces oh mm. Uh, G, uh, rook g2 yes. so bringing another another rook in the game tell me tell me if you want to attack down the g file would you like yeah. to triple your pieces like you uh, would like your yeah. rook the other rook yeah, yeah. and the queen all and on g queen, file yeah. so yeah yeah which square would uh, be the best for the rook now think rook that. g3 very good rook g3 see so that you can keep the g2 square for your queen if you yeah. played rook g2 then uh, this queen would be lacking that square to come later uh yeah 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 so rook g3 rook c7 now i brought the other rook and i played queen g2 and this plan is completed and was it difficult abhishek for you to find this plan uh, no it was, it was not difficult it was in my mind the plan was in my mind but it uh, i thought it uh, it's uh, it made the it will make the game slower because uh, because uh, there are more than five, four to five yes. moves to make it. but what you must do is you must look in this position and you must ask yourself is there something that i can do with checks captures and threats so i you yes. i think you know this rule yeah checks captures and threats oh. for yes. calculation yes. So you see knight d5, you see bishop d5, you see queen into c4, you see threatening mm -hmm. moves like b3, and you're like, yes, these are all this these two are bad. B3 is okay, mm -hmm. but the knight goes back. After that, mm -hmm. I have nothing more to do. So you are anyway playing some random moves like a4 and trying to play yeah. on that side. Might as well yeah. go ahead with your plan. Even if it takes time, it's not yeah. like black is going to do something. So here, yeah, yeah. you go king h1, rook g1, rook g3, rook g3. So many times, following up with a plan is a matter of willpower. It is also a matter of believing in what you think. Yeah. yeah. yeah? So if you, mm -hmm. if you do this, you will be able to uh, come up with good plans. Yeah, yeah. I have one more problem that uh, when I uh, playing games, I loss sometimes the uh, the place of the position i sometimes gets blank hmm. i have a plan for it but sometimes it gets blank is it something yeah a lot of people get blank it's called losing the thread of the game like you are playing yeah. you're playing it's like a story which is moving and suddenly you are yeah. like array i don't remember how to do so uh, the right way to get back is whenever it's your move try to look at yeah. checks captures and threats like are there any checks captures and threats here okay it's not working let me get back so that small test of the position whether there are some checks whether some captures or some threats can help you to get back your thought process yeah hmm? yeah uh, so uh, i want to ask one one thing more that uh, how to uh, sort the candidate moves so i if i uh, find out all the candidate moves so which one uh, if there are two moves which i sort of uh, want to play but i get confused between those two moves what to play so in that okay uh, it's it's uh, it's a problem that even grandmasters face yeah this one it's not like uh, at your level you will have your problem for example let's let's look at uh, one of the examples from here so my opponent here played the move knight d7 yeah. tell me what are the candidate moves that come to your mind here mm. 
Mm, okay. So there is a queen. There is some uh, candidate moves are all moves are. I can go uh, give a check on H file. Mm. There is a pawn takes. There is uh, bishop takes. Yeah. And and uh, they are uh, these are the only candidate moves. So I think of all these there are is the some... forcing moves. These are the captures yeah. and checks. Uh, yeah. And then there could be other candidate moves like bringing yeah. your rook up, yeah, rook up. trying to yeah. attack here. So, you know, always begin with the forcing candidate moves. As you said, first look at checks. Does this work? Yeah. Oh, this is just a free queen. Mm -hmm. Nothing really happened. Then yeah. you look at the other candidate move, which is to take here. Yeah. And then you go a little bit deeper. Like for example, oh, if I take here, then I can take this pawn. Then his king yeah. tries to run somewhere. Of course, you should calculate as much as you can at your level. But yeah, yeah. always start off with the forcing moves. Now, if there are two moves which are sort of equal to you, then you need to yeah. figure out a way in which um, you have to find a way in which you take a decision. Like here, it's very clear that this is a horrible move. This is yeah. much better than the other move. But then you have another choice, which is to play rook d3 here or rook d4 and put your rook here. So then you need to calculate. You are like, okay, what is the problem with this move? Is anything hanging in my position? Ah, yes, he can take here. So uh, it can take here, but uh, uh, in spite of rook d3, I can play queen f4 and try to give a mate uh, on uh, f7 here he, okay what will your opponent do will he allow this no no he will not allow this uh, so maybe um, rook uh, rook f8 or king h8 no king h8 would lose this pawn so that we should not okay ha. yeah yeah so rook, uh, rook, f8. rook f8 is one move any other move you think um, Mm. No, bishop takes oh queen takes bishop no but queen takes bishop is free huh? you will lose your queen yeah oh he will lose his queen okay. uh, what other move you think over here uh, king g7 but then you will still lose this pawn Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. See, this is being attacked by two pieces. You saw one move, rook f8, which is okay. Yeah. Is mm -hmm. there any other move? Um, something with the knight. Mm -hmm. Knight, knight f7, f6. Very good. Knight f6. Actually, this is how the game went. And in the end, it was uh, like I played this in the game. Okay. And eventually, uh, the game ended in a draw after a few moves here. So, the thing is, you have to realize here that queen f4 is also a possible move. Bishop yeah. into f7 is also a possible move. And now you have to weigh yeah. the pros and cons. Is this a better move or is this? And you have to calculate. Calculation is looking a few moves ahead. And this yeah. is what is that is why chess is not simple. What you are asking me is how should I make a decision? This is where you have to put in the effort. You have to solve positions yeah. every day. You have to try yeah. and play games where you apply this. And then you will get yeah. better at it. Yeah. yeah yeah but the idea is to jot down the candidate moves first what are the possibilities and then try to choose the best one yeah but uh, i have a lot problems but one more problem is that uh, uh, when i'm calculating the candidate moves 
so i can uh, calculate seven moves uh, i suppose so in, in seven moves i'm calculating deeper down for the first move i'm going in the calculations uh, suddenly i forgot about the uh, next candidate moves i was thinking of of calculation this this what you are saying uh, abhishek is a is a common problem faced by many and that's why yeah. only thing that will help you is a disciplined approach to looking at things like when you are looking try to concentrate well try to think better try to avoid distractions when you are playing a game try to switch off your uh, messaging uh, try to stay away from people play a game with concentration and try to build that up yeah yeah hmm? yeah can i ask you something is, is it like when you uh, when you have to make decisions in normal day to day life you find it difficult to take decisions uh, sometimes but not really okay uh, so it's only a chess related I... problem yeah not not uh, everything like you know many chess players when they cannot take decisions on the board they are also confused when they have to make decisions like should i go there by bus or by train should i take this flavor of ice cream or that flavor of ice cream does that happen to you as well uh, not really okay fantastic okay so that's just a chess related issue then for you uh, which you can solve by playing more chess by by trying to uh, you know playing more games solving more positions trying to yeah. uh, involve yourself more with the game yeah 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 okay all right abhishek take care thanks bye okay that was abhishek there uh, a super chat by saurabh gurbhele who says you can let me in at the end if possible i just wanted to say thank you that on the stream and to the viewers for such beautiful comments okay saurabh let's see at the end if we are able to uh, also i wanted to uh, take one more super chat manoj kumar says sagar notations are easy for me with white pieces but difficult with black pieces while watching your commentary please help me yeah yeah this is a problem i think amruta and i have to fix this uh, we are working on videos on notation and we want to try and uh, make sure that this problem is solved it's a big issue faced by so many people uh, and somehow we need to find a way to solve this so we will work on this notation part and you will have something from us yeah manoj uh, also i was i think there was one more super chat by sam stan who said my head starts to pain if i play more games how do i overcome this issue sam i think one of the important things in chess is to understand why certain things are happening so why does your head pain is it because you have some health issues is it only because of chess is it because you take a lot of pressure you need you need to find uh, head paining is a effect you need to re- find the cause if the cause is let's say you have some health issues already then you need to take medicines or go to a doctor for that not doctor chess but a real doctor uh, but if it is something where it's just getting tiring for you then maybe doing some form of exercises uh, yoga uh, building your stamina you know i've seen many people when they do better physical exercise like they go for run and all they are able to do better chess their stamina in chess increases so in that sense i believe that this can be very important for you okay so um let's go to the next one i had forgotten kabir let's put kabir back here and see if everything works fine for him kabir can you hear me hello hello yeah can you mute your youtube Better. Uh, sorry sir. Yeah, everyone saying Black Lotus. Yeah. Hi Kabir. Yes. Kabir, you were there on one of the shows, yes? Yes, yes, sir. I was. Yeah. Can you can you change the alignment? I I have to see you like this. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Better. Yeah, yeah. Tell me. Uh, I I let me remember. What was your issue? 
do you remember your issue or you solved it already yes i, I remember i remember okay what was it night sir i was i have a problem with nights okay i mean you mean day and night like at night you don't get sleep or the bishop no, bishop no, and night yeah bishop bishop and okay. night uh, i get confused calculating their moves and you give me a solution because if they if the pieces are on same color then only the knight can fork them yeah 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 great so what's your new issue and are you uh, a, i mean have you been able to improve at chess sir i think uh, my new issue is i think i am overrated on chess.com because i have got a rating of 1300 but i don't feel like that okay and uh, if i you can just look at a game and you know can say if i am a... <laughs> you, you want my validation for your rating yes i want to... i don't feel like i'm getting under and i win games i don't know how but <laughs> okay can you can you send me one of your games okay sir i guess every time you make a big jump in your rating let's say you were 1000 and you reach 1300 many times it's mm. not deserved but it's like you could you can play at that level sometimes and then you need to stabilize and i think a good example for everyone here who follows samai is his rating graph you know he always makes these yes. jumps and then he's always lying there for a, for a few weeks uh and you will see reaching 1400 reaching 1400 all the time on the streams and suddenly now he sir jumped, how do i send uh you can send a link on uh, on discord uh but to chess yeah. base india on discord you are in the room same room as me so chess base india so and now he has reached 1500 so that's a new jump now he will be stagnant in that zone when he will take another jump soon so it's always like like a plateau then a, then it goes up then sometimes it also goes down then you stabilize then you all move up again there are some talents who all the time keep moving up but they are very talented players like nihal pragnananda gukesh raunak all these youngsters who always keep moving upwards but for the rest of us who are normal players who are trying to improve the growth is always staggered you know plateau peak plateau peak Sir, wait a second. I just yeah. Please send me, Keith. Good to see you on on uh, live stream. Uh, I know some of the people who used to be uh, very regular in the morning have been unable to tune into improving chess in the afternoon. But I have good news for you. There will be morning streams very soon and. It will be nice to sir, connect with you again. You sent me. Yes, sir. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is your game. Andrew Kabir. Uh, Kabir, can you see my uh, screen? No sir I don't I can't You can't see my screen No sir You are you are from your phone yeah Yes sir Can you see watch stream there is an option there is it there on your computer Yes 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 I can see now You can see Yes yes Okay very nice So let's look at this game you are white yes. and uh, let's see if you are 1300 actually uh, judging from one game is always risky because yeah. one game you can play good or bad but let me see d4 knight c3 e6 bishop f4 bishop b4 okay a3 takes takes till now pretty good c6 knight f3 h6 e3 pretty good developing everything queen d2 now he's threatening knight e4 yes. so c4 okay not bad take take 
with the knight. I want to be actually the queen, sir. No, it's good. It's good. You're playing very well until now. Knight e4. You took on d5. Takes. Knight e4. Okay. Double the pinch. What? I wanted to double his pawns. Yeah. You are afraid that you 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 would be left with the double pawn, so you first took on d5. So I gave him double yeah. pawns. I would have preferred maybe to take first here, and keep these pawns I here. Should... I think it's better slightly, but okay. Anyway, yeah. you took here is not bad. He he could he should have taken with the e pawn to open up his bishop, but he took with the c pawn. Takes takes, check. Okay, bishop d7. Ah, here. Let's try to try to think. Here, do you think that this idea with check and takes is a good one? No, sir. Why? But uh, because my bishop can be useful because there is, there is a lot of space on the board. But I felt like extending so I can bring other pieces and get into the end game because he has double pawns. I have a better bishop. Yeah. Also, remember this rule that when you have the bishop pair, try to keep them, and when you when you have the bishop pair, the opponent's aim is to exchange one of the bishops. And here you are like, I have the bishop pair, but I want to come and I want to exchange one of my bishops. You know, you spent like two moves, you exchanged it, and you let his knight develop, which just yeah. entire uh, thing makes no sense. Yeah. So a better move could have been bishop e two. And then trying for maybe king d two. You don't even need to castle here, yeah, because king will be good in the center. It's sort of end game, and yeah. you can yeah. you can push c four. You can bring your rook to b one, the other rook to c one. It looks such a nice position for you. Slowly you can play here. So check here takes takes king e two. Yeah, good decision not to castle. Keep the king in the center. So this is because of only. Uh, this is because of you. Because first I was first I was using castle. Every time, but now because you have said in one of the streams, so I remember. To... Yes, yes, and this is a good decision. Rook c8 is a good move. In fact, I would have preferred perhaps king d2 here. Uh, the reason being, rook c8 doesn't attack it directly. Uh, but king d2 runs into another problem, which is knight b6, knight c4 check. But it's, I mean, I would go like rook here, knight c4, and king e2 now. And then he cannot attack uh, from c8 this pawn because the knight is in the way. So these are subtle things which you should keep in mind. King e2, rook c8. Now uh, see, now this move which you played is a passive move. So I mean I understand there is no other way, but why not use your king to defend it? Certain, uh, little scared because you know king. I understand king is important, but. You have to be scared only of the things if, if there is some proof that he can do something against it. So, for example, you see, ah, maybe the knight can jump here and give me a check. So he plays this. What you can do is you can go rook b one. He gives a check. Now you can go here, and you ask yourself, this is more active now. Your rook is attacking this pawn. It's still, it's still black is doing well after b six. I think black is okay. But this entire concept of you giving up your bishop is the cause of all your problems. If your bishop was here, you could have played bishop e two and c four, and you would have no issues. Okay, king e two here, rook c one. Also here, if you want to put play this rook here, can you explain to me why this rook and why not the other rook? So it doesn't uh, brings other one to the game. This rook is. Quite helping. This rook will be easily into the game, but that rook might not be. Can you can you tell me uh, with notations because this that I'm getting confused. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry, sir. So the uh, rook from h8 to c8. H1 to c1 is useful. Yeah. H1, I'm right. H1 to c1 will be easy because the other rook at a1 will be can be bring to onto the game by b2. By b1, yes. And the rook will be active yeah. here. Uh, while if you bring this rook, this rook is like, "Arey, where should I go? Where is my job?" Because yes. there are no open files. So this is just logical thinking. There is a there is a semi-open file here. I want to put this rook. So you bring this rook to c1. Okay, he castled, which is a not the best decision. Now you know that 
he could have kept his king in the center and got which would have been better for him uh, here f3 okay f5 rook c3 is a good move now see he attacks your a3 pawn you play a4 so now i oh you got a you got a nice tactically aware tactically aware sir sir, sir i have a, i have a, sir now that i win the rook yeah now i am such a great mode that i don't you know play that much focus or get legs or lean back attitude so you will see in the game how i am playing yeah. and like, yeah. what, what do you do in in life andrew so i am currently you. studying i am running a third year msc uh, bsc it okay uh, and it's four year course it's a five year it's a five year course now I'm... how are you doing in these three years so i'm pretty good at it. why don't you leave it now and just try to do something else so now no sir i am quite like i like well, uh, computer but, but you're doing the same way. in the game yeah like now as you said you are a rook up uh, and you are like okay all my effort now let me just play as carelessly as possible so chess doesn't work that way just like how you do your course you finish it right till the very end you are focused you know that you will do it only if you are focused same way let's see like how you play here b6 bishop b4 Okay. Too much careless, sir. Mm, well, it's oh what? Sir, I don't know what I was doing. What? And he didn't take. Yeah, this is just clear lo lapse in concentration, and you are you are just like oh now it's game is over, and the only way to make sure that you can do well is to remember the aim of chess is not just to you know. um get a winning position but to bring it to a logical okay. end by playing good moves all the time and if you can if you can keep that in mind you will not only see this uh, improving in your chess but in everything you do that you will follow it up through the end so here it's very important for you to bring this habit that if you are winning you see until now you are making all the best moves the moment you won the rook you are like theek hai abhi main jeet jaunga but why not like here let me see how can i defend my bishop which would be the best move you will like okay let me let me yeah b2 if he goes here i push the pawn yeah it looks good it looks much better i would have also thought of a move like bishop d6 here keeping the bishop active maybe putting it back on e5 if he takes i am happy because i am a rook up piece exchanges in my favor and here after bishop c5 b6 i uh, i mean here also you can just think of ways in which you can exchange stuff like for example here take take rook a1 why not try an exchange i, I was trying to exchange the pieces but uh, in a very bad manner yes. <laughs> but but winning a winning position is really tough so keep that in mind and from next time onwards try to do that i believe uh, uh kabir that your rating 1300 is justified in fact you are you are much stronger than that if you focus well you will reach 1400 pretty soon so uh, all you need to do is try to focus more so also now that uh, because before i played a very less rated opponents so I the end game was not the issue the main game was middle game because the blunder came in the middle game and you know if you win a piece the game is yours but now that i'm facing much stronger opponents the thing is that i'm not that good at the end game i'm good at end game but not the perfect you know moves theoretical moves i'm not that better in the end game you mean yes because i'm little not that quick to you know see the threat and the pass pawn is there i'm not quick to enough see the threat i'm collecting the backward pawns and suddenly the suddenly the pawn is on sixth yeah. rank and you know i'm finding ways to save did, myself did you see this one doctor chess episode where there was someone who said he has problems in understanding end games and i showed him one end game of smithlow uh, i think it was episode number this is 
13 so it was episode number 11 if I'm not wrong and what I did was I asked him to collect games of good endgame players and to hide the moves and then to guess the moves of the good player so sir no, uh, <laughs> this is just because I have a request from you yeah sir uh, I wanted to watch your endgame series uh, which is on Chessbury India yeah but it, it is quite long so I cannot I cannot yeah. put too much hours two hours regularly yes no and also that endgame series is a different kind of endgame series it's not meant for you it is more uh, advanced uh, I would recommend that for players who who are who, do, who have mastered basic endgames and also have mastered endgames uh, principles basic so for right now I would say if you want to improve your endgame this book Silman's endgame course is a very good one so the one which is I saw on Soumya's channel. No, oh, no, there's a Bobby Fisher, Bobby Fisher. No, sorry, sir. Yeah. Go for this is a good one for your level. It is Silman's Endgame Course. Okay, sir. I will look into it. Yeah. Sir, also I have an issue that when I'm calculating the candidate moves, I'm not looking much to all the moves, such as I'm counting only in one direction. Yeah. Uh, because when I see someone's you analyze when you analyze game or someone like Agitmeter analyze game, there are many intermediate moves. Yeah, it's it's a it's a habit. It's always a habit uh, when you do it. So when you are always playing and you look at a position, try to quickly see all the possibilities. So for example, if you look at one move, don't start calculating it. Tell yourself, wait, are there more options? Look at few more. And then you start calculating the one which you have started. Because if you start looking at only one, then what will happen is that you will no, never be able to uh, look at more possibilities. This is the problem. So it's, it's also two things happen in chess players problem. One is the competence, whether you can calculate or not. And the other one is patience. You should make sure that the patience thing is there in you, that you are able to calculate. The competence will come as and as and when you improve at chess. So right now you are 13. I, I believe your level is quite good enough from all the moves that you made. So try to play more uh, Kabir and try to see if you can uh, by the next Dr. Chess reach 1400. Thank you sir for, for uh, all the chess. I think you are one of the reasons. Also sir, uh, thank you for the A3 queen trap. <laughs> ah, you did it. Yes, I did it twice. Uh, one one time I also get. I just did it because I thought because it is a coin trap it will. But I had some issue with my other place. I don't know which. One. Thank you, sir, for Fantastic. the. Fantastic. Fantastic. Kabir, keep playing chess. Keep working hard and all the best. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay. Bye. Okay. Wonderful. That was Kabir, uh, whom we had missed. Let's go to Nihit. Where is Nihit? He's here. Let's send Nihit to Dr. Chess room. Was it episode 11 or was it some other? I'm not sure. This endgame thing. Yeah, hello Nihit. Nihit, can you switch off your YouTube? I mean, at least mute it. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah, Nihit, can you switch on your camera? Yeah. Hi Nihil. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm fine. How old are you? What do you do? Uh, what's your chess level? Tell us a bit about yourself. 
I'm studying class 9th and my age is 14. Okay. Where are you from? I'm my writing on this.com around 1200. Around 1200. I'm from Delhi. Delhi. Okay. Okay. How can I help you, Neil? Uh, so, so I was having problem with my opening. I'm not sure which opening should I play. Okay. Why are you not sure? I am very confused about the opening. Tell me a bit more so that I can help you. What do you play right now? I play English opening. Okay, you play English, but do you don't like it? Hello, hello? No. I guess some issues with your internet, Nihit. I can't hear you so well. Hello? Nihit, can you hear me? Hello, hello? Either it's something wrong with uh, Discord today, but previous call went okay. Not sure why this is hanging. Nihit, maybe you can fix your internet connection and that could be better. Yeah, I can take you next in. So we save time. Okay, Varad at this one. I think this is Varad or there is one more Varad with the at sign. No, ad comes uh, as a part of Discord. Okay, let's put Varad here. Hello, Varad. Hello. Many times they're watching the stream and then they see, oh, I'm here and then I think I should make it low latency video so that the the gap between the stream is not big. Right now, it's there's a gap of around 20 seconds. Hello, hello. I don't know. Let me see if it was by loading this again hello Varad but he's muted I think he's just slept off <laughs> he came into the room and he's like okay okay let's go to Proshi uh, here is Proshi uh can i send move to dr chess okay yeah let's see if proshi is here varhat i think you need to wake up hello <clears throat> hello proshi can you hear me yes i can um one second let me turn on my turn on my camera Uh, you see me? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Uh, I am. Uh, I'm. My name is Prathamesh. Okay. Joshi. I'm from Pune, but I live in the United States. Okay. And yeah, and I. One second. I started playing um chess like two years ago, but then I took a break, and then in in my lockdown, I was I I got enough time to start you know playing chess again. Mm -hmm. So. So uh, I I started watching your improve your chess with I am Sagarsha on on YouTube, mm -hmm. and I'm currently on episode uh, on day ten out of twenty one. Okay. So I'm not I'm like uh, I play online a lot lot. So my chess.com blitz rating is around uh, fourteen fourteen hundred, mm. but and my like rapid rating I haven't played that many rapid games on chess.com. So it's it's at it's at fifteen hundred right now, but 
my leeches rapid rating, uh, classical rating is around 1800, but I think I'm overrated on that. But so I'm not really sure where to go from here. Like I'm watching your videos. I am, I'm also working through Arthur Yusupov's first book. Uh, uh, this one, uh, build up your chess. Yeah, build up chess, the first one. And I, I, I'm, I'm working on a, on a few of those uh, tactics that's, that's in there and it's I'm uh, I'm in eleventh grade. I'm seventeen. Okay. I'm uh, sixteen. Sorry, okay. Six, sixteen. Okay. Sixteen. Can I can I see uh, your game or a couple of your games or one of your game? You can send me. Sure, sure. You, do, Let me do you play tournaments? Do you have a FIDE one. rating? Uh, I do not. in In the United States, uh, most of the tournaments you begin by playing in the in the U.S. rating system. So you have it's a called, USCF rating. It's just, you, USCF, I do not. I mean, I have one, but it's from two years ago, so it's like outdated. It's it's eight hundred, but I think I'm. You're stronger. I, than I think that. I'll be better than that when I. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let me find one of my games. I I look for one game that's in the that's like a, a longer game instead of some blitz game, so that it will yeah, be a little bit yeah. more. Send send um, it to me on on Discord, uh, and we can. One moment. Um. Ankush Abi says, Hi Sagar, thanks for the great work. Missing improving chess sessions morning. Love from Canada. Well, Ankush, thank you so much. And the plan is that we will have the improving chess sessions. Uh, not improving chess, but another series which I plan to start uh, in the morning very soon. So, would be nice if you could join in. Could you please tell us about the procedure for registering the Saturday's tournament if you are not having FIDE ID and FIDE rating? Yeah, this is something that I would like everyone here to to do it. Uh, just go to chessbase.in and there's this first article that we are raising funds for Durgesh. If you click here, you will be able to register in that tournament. We have raised close to five and a half lakh, more than five and a half lakh rupees. And so many donors have come forward to save uh, Durgesh's life. Uh, and you can, it's a free tournament. The prize fund is 50,000, no entry fee you have to pay. And you can just, and when you register, there's a Google form here. And wherever uh, FIDE ID is mentioned, if you don't have any, you can write here NA or you can mention a dash. Yeah, but if you have one, would be great if you could mention it. Write your FIDE rating also as any. and Or if it's a number, then you can put a zero here and that should work. So please participate. How, take part uh, how do I send it to you? Just send me on, on uh, Discord, Chessbase India. Uh, so just like a pr private message? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um. Did you get it? Just a second. Let me check. Yes, I got it. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Okay. Download raw. Okay. Let's. <clears throat> In, the, in this game, I played an opening that's not not really a common one. Like, sorry, that's that I don't play that as commonly. Okay. So it's just. Well, let's let's try to look at the entire mistakes. game and see what you are doing right, what you are doing wrong, where you can improve. Of course, one game is a very small sample size, uh, because you know some games right. you can play very well, some games you can play poorly. But let's see. Maybe as I ask you some questions, yeah. I can get get to know more about you. Okay. So you were black. Sure. E4, G6, Knight F3, Bishop yes, G7, D4. Can you see the screen? Uh, I cannot. Can you click on watch? So do watch I hit stream? watch? Stream? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I see it now. Yeah. Knight F6. Knight c3, d6. Okay, so this is the Pierk, Pierk, Perk, 
whatever you want to call it yeah uh, queen d2 bishop yeah. g4 okay knight g4 is also is possible here by the way uh, is an interesting op move but okay bishop g4 bishop e2 but but wouldn't knight g4 be like oh moving the same piece the same piece during the opening isn't that like a yeah but the fact that like a bad thing because you're moving the same piece he will you you don't he doesn't want to lose this bishop you know so he will also have to move the same piece again so as long as it's a logical move it's okay for 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 mm -hmm. example let's say if this is the position and you play knight g4 this is an illogical move there's no point to it but if there's a bishop okay. here and now you play it he also has to move it for example if he plays bishop e2 and you are able to take it your this bishop becomes kind of unopposed and it becomes very strong and you have a bishop pair yeah you have a bishop pair and ideally you would like to break with c5 at some point and then activate this bishop on the long mm -hmm. diagonal okay but bishop g4 right. is not a bad move knight d7 h3 you took took played e5 fine everything is going well he okay he's playing aggressively now he castle long you played rook e8 g4 okay takes bishop takes h6 okay let's try to think here why did you go for the move h6 Uh yeah now that I look at it it was it was kind of useless Yeah but why did Maybe, you do it at that I'm not sure why I went for it, it, was, it was It's a game played 1 month ago I don't know this was a this was a, right so maybe I, I yeah I'm, I'm not really sure I think I wanted to play like h6 and then maybe bring that bring the king and then play no g5 that would i mean i don't i'm not really sure because this was one month ago i don't remember yeah that but usually when you play any move it should have some logic behind it which you should be able to understand now yeah this this one was not good yeah this if if the move doesn't have yeah, this a one logic was not good. then you need to think of something better here so can you think of something else to do in this position maybe c5 because the bishop is that you, you can attack the bishop it's an interesting move yeah like or, or even like a uh, yeah. I mean, on one hand you are making this a backward pawn on the other hand this becomes weak everything is looking but mm -hmm. when he takes it's a very concrete move because now after queen takes you are actually threatening the bishop here and you tell mm -hmm. you tell your opponent that yes i have a weakness here you can even pick it up but on the other hand my bishop and queen are looking at this diagonal i may want to play b5 b4 i may want to get my knight to e5 to c4 sack it here so it's a very um, how how do i put it it's a very mm -hmm. um, dynamic decision to play c5 but not without yeah. its back uh, you know drawbacks what are the other moves that come to your mind here for black let's let's try to since i mean i see that the black king it's on the queen side so maybe i can try my play on the queen side by playing like a5 absolutely. and then try pushing the a pawn or the b pawn to start an attack absolutely you you should do that but uh, how how exactly okay. a5 is one move that you can try so this is one candidate move other move was c5 that you thought of anything else and it's very good that you thought that the king b5 b4 king is here so you should play on that side yeah you want to play b5 mm -hmm. this is yeah b5 this is similar to sicilian nidorf that's one of the common openings that i that i usually play yeah. and like in nidorf you usually attack on the king side queen side as well so maybe b5 b4 actually i this is the first move that came to my mind when i saw this position and very important thing when it's opposite side castling is that you should not care for pawns if he takes here what do you do yeah you have an open you have an open file so maybe you can play like rook b8 yes and already you start getting some play maybe it's not enough here 
but it's a good idea you know you already his king is slightly weak and you start to get play against his king but the more uh, the bigger problem so, i see yeah so, so maybe maybe yeah go on uh, i was saying that maybe, maybe i can play like rook b8 and then play c5 after that and then because i have the open queen uh diagonal so i can play like queen b6 and then attack the attack b2 yes. pawn very nice so i would say b5 a5 c5 are all the moves which are more logical mm -hmm. than your move h6 this is like playing on the side of the board where you should not yeah yeah i i, I have a feeling that even uh, rook b8 can be a good way to start my only problem with b5 is that what if he does e5 here it attacks your knight and also attacks your rook uh yeah. and let's say if you take de oh yeah that's, that's nice but 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 it's not simple yeah it's not simple because he takes you take here i take here and now i'm attacking this and also the bishop so perhaps it's a playable mm -hmm. alternative you see how there's a lot of calculation involved when you make a move right so b5 maybe e5 yeah. you take here and this could be fine for black okay in the game you played h6 h4 which is he's going ahead with his plan yeah knight e5 is a good move yeah this is the problem that i felt if he plays h4 this becomes weak and then you can get in this move he played queen f4 yeah. okay ah h5 very interesting very interesting chess so you want to play h5 he took knight takes and now if he takes back on f3 you want to take on h5 uh when you're yeah when you're doing okay like the king side is still closed so he played hg6 mm -hmm. very interesting move he's like okay i want to attack you uh take okay gf king f seven rook d4 and yeah for a piece i think he has some good attacking chances here he's threatening knight d5 yeah he, he is threatening h5 h6 but your king looks okay yes. e5 also is a big threat yeah i know it now uh no not e5 you can take he also has an o, o he also has an open g file for the rook maybe yeah, yeah. so queen e7 was played by you i i think logical Mm, what's mm -hmm. your plan to knight d5 or the ah, yeah, he did that he knight. did that okay uh queen e5 right. yeah good move good move takes rook takes okay why did you take with the rook and not the pawn yeah pawn takes attacks the rook on d4 yeah and I would have done that next now. Next move, you take okay. this knight. I guess you get a good position. Yeah. Because after rook takes. H how about how about? Yeah. Uh, so, so I was saying, after pawn takes e five. Um, what about knight c seven? Oh, but then but then that loses a knight later. Yeah, that's. Yeah, fine. he's just two pieces down now. So yeah yeah i see and and when he moves away the rook let's say you take this guy you can also take on e4 by the way but mm -hmm. take this and this is just completely winning position for you because his extra <clears throat> two pawns are now pointless right. so actually his move knight d5 was a was a not a great move here because it allowed you to exchange queens yeah. Maybe he could have mm -hmm. kept the queens, but then you had knight e5 anyway. So, yeah. Rook e5. He took on f6. Why not c7? Uh, okay, anyway, rook c8. Yeah, he probably. Here, this position is also better for you. But he mm -hmm. went takes, takes, f4, rook a5, e5, take, take, bishop takes. And yeah, now we are winning. Uh, yeah, this is actually. Uh, I would say you are you are pretty strong. I mean, 
even even your leeches rating is not not uh, should not be bad like 1800 could be your actual strength but i see a clear problem oh. uh was this moment when you when you played this move h6 so at this point right. your your level dropped to like 1200 while in this phase mm -hmm. when you yeah. played uh h5 i would say this is maybe close to mm -hmm. a very strong move you know in, in such a position so you you are playing at different levels at different uh in different positions even here i i'm not sure like what what if i take here what were you planning uh d takes e5 yeah yeah d takes and then i, I had some sort of attack on i have a, a attack on the queen so the queen's got to move and then, uh now i can play uh oh yeah the queen's under attack so i have to move the queen yeah but now i take e7 and then knight takes and yeah, oh, yeah. this so knight this takes seems bishop very dangerous now that the g file opens up and this comes in so mm -hmm. maybe uh h5 wasn't the best move as such but i like the concept behind it keeping the position close h5 what if i take here and take with the rook that could be possible that could be better choice than taking with the pawn yeah and then if right. he takes here you take mm -hmm. with the knight and you still are able to keep the position right. sort of closed in here yeah closed yeah. Yeah. yeah this should so I, i that's what i'm saying that you need to this was the critical moment where you made a mistake and i think the series which you are watching uh, is is ideal for you mm -hmm. so that you avoid such errors I may have to look at more right. of your games so, but I see that uh yeah a move like this usually stems from sort of laziness to not come up with a plan mm -hmm. it's more like I don't see something good let me just make something you could have even played king h8 you know just give let white do what he wants mm -hmm. but that's not how you should play you should always yeah. be looking at the imbalances as you rightly said the king is on the other wing both sides it's important to even if you played a6 i would have been much more happy than h6 because the idea is to play b5 b4 mm. so don't be lazy at any point in so the uh right right so you're saying that just watching those videos are, is good so is there anything like a supplement to that maybe i can like work on something yeah i mean getting this book is very good because it the entire series is inspired from this book mm -hmm. uh, called reassess your chess by jeremy silman okay. uh, and i think uh, if you if you right. read that but you're already reading arthur you suppose book series which is excellent i would say aim at completing if you're doing that book don't go for something else watch these videos and try to complete one yeah. book uh, one book a month Oh, okay. So, I mean, so right now, since I'm in eleventh grade, I have to like take some certain exams for colleges. But that that will all be over in October. So after October, I'll yeah, have a lot of time you, to work on my chess and October, stuff. When you finish in October, try to finish the series of imbalances so that you have a method to think in any given position. And then you, when you do the yeah. Arthur Yusupo books, try to solve each and every position that he has given. In that, you know, he, his method is. he teaches a concept and then he has tests to back it up in every chapter so solve yeah. each of them very well write down your answer there in the book and try to do one chapter every day so that let's say there are 24 chapters in book number 1 mm. so try to finish that book in one month then go to second book which is yeah, yeah. I, i'm almost done with i mean i'm halfway done with the first first book yeah, i think yeah i finished 12 chapters okay so so that's a good plan i think right. i think okay. uh, you so you shouldn't you no... shouldn't be uh, thinking to yourself that oh i need to do more of something in order to improve you know all my life 
I made this mistake, which was like, I need more books. I need more material. I need a better trainer. While my problem was maybe just trying to improve my skills, which what I was doing already, you know. So, for example, uh, do you do you yeah. go to gym anytime? Do you exercise? Yeah, what I do. do you do? I mean, not during lockdown, but I just. What do you? Uh, wait, just wait. You wait. So, so when in you do general, weights, weights and running, uh, or even running, uh, do you run on the treadmill mm-hmm. or do you run in the open? Treadmill. And how how long do you run? Fifteen minutes, maybe. Yeah. It's just warm up for so me. So many times, yeah. let's say if you are doing something related to running, like I like to run. It's not about trying to sort of change your technique all the time about running. It's more about knowing how to place your foot when you are trying to run. In what posture should you be running? Your back right. should be erect uh, how, or, or maybe slightly tilting forward. How you should be breathing when you are running. You know, these are the little things you improve for a bigger improvement in your output as a mm-hmm. runner. Same with weights. It's not like... Uh, yeah. you will directly from f- if you are lifting 5 kilograms you will go to 20 what you will do is you will improve your stance of how to yeah. lift it you will do it in a much better way it comes and then you slowly move to the next step and the same with chess I already see that your chess understanding is pretty good it's not like you don't understand like when I said some moves you you could instantly understand in fact you suggested certain good moves to me as well and that shows that you have the understanding but what you may lack and that's what i feel is the practical skills which is like can i calculate variations faster do i is my accuracy uh, is my calculation accurate all these little things you don't need books you need more practice you need to play more games you need to solve those positions in the book even if you are doing usupo books do it very well try to find the answer to the problem in the most precise manner and you will see that you are with any material if mm-hmm. it's a good material you do pr- properly your level increases so don't get into this trap that you need lot of material you need 10 books to study and then you will improve even one book if done well can help you become a stronger player so skill part please work on that calculation trying right. to make sure that you are uh, understanding the position well and all of that yeah i think right now i'm just lacking some practical applications so since this like all covid stuff i'm not there there are not many tournaments around but i'm sure that after all this there'll be many tournaments and i'll be going to them try to if you are on the chess base india discord here uh which you are now try to Mm -hmm. uh, i think maybe what i can do is set up a room for serious games for between people and then you can find people there to play a long game over there because I'm sure there are people yeah. like you who want to play longer games uh, and that could be an idea you know there, uh, it's a good idea to play lockdown in the lockdown and I'm going to start a series soon where I analyze my games uh, mm-hmm. my lost games that's what I want to do oh. and maybe analyzing your games more carefully will help you to improve at chess right yeah yeah yep. okay pratamesh thank you all so the much. best to you and good luck yeah, thank yeah. you bye okay so that was pratamesh uh i think i have time for one last player uh to join in before i end today's day myself pratik okay let's take pratik Yeah, Pratik. Hi. Hello. Yeah. Maybe it would be a good idea to create this one room here, which would be for long games. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Pratik. Hello, Pratik. 
Yes. Pratik, am I seeing you for the first time or have I have you been on Doctor Chess before? No, sir, I am here for the first. Okay, time. tell me a bit about you. So I am uh, Pratik Chaudhary. My name is Pratik Chaudhary. I am in standard nine, fourteen years old, and I am from Bhubaneswar. Okay. And uh, what, what, how strong are you at chess? What's your chess strength? It, I don't have pedal rating, but my online rating is uh, nineteen hundred in blades in the chess, and in chess dot com sixteen hundred. Not bad, not bad. So you are a strong player. So. Tell me, how can I help you, sir? I have a problem in understanding the position. I couldn't understand the position at all. You, you have a problem understanding no, positions. No. So how come your yes, rating, sir, is, uh, rating is rating is sixteen hundred and nineteen hundred? But I play aggressively at all. You always play aggressively. My English is weak. Yes, I always attack. In the same side where my king is, that's not good at. Okay, but we have to see it as case to case basis. Like sometimes it can be good, sometimes it's bad. So do you have any games or anything which I can see? Yes. Okay. Sir, but uh, I will send it. You can send it to me on Discord. Sir, I'm using Discord for the first time, so I don't know. You know, you can message me. You are in this room. With me, yes. So there is Chess Base India. Can you see Chess Base India? You can always message to me saying whatever, or you can tell me the moves of a game. Okay, sir. I will tell you. Yeah. Okay, and by the way, uh, the way. can you see my screen? Look at Watch Stream. There is a button called as Watch Stream. Yes, sir. Wait. What happened? I don't. Something went wrong. You can't see. Okay, I can see right now. Yeah. So tell me. Suddenly, Pratik has to manage a lot of things. Yeah, he has to watch the board on the screen. He has to call out moves. Tough time. Sir, can I send the link in the in YouTube? On YouTube, you mean? Yes, uh, you can't send if you are not a mod. Uh, you can you can send me on uh, chessbaseindia at gmail dot com, my mail ID. Sir, uh, I played it. Sorry. Sir, uh, I am telling the. You are telling me the moves. Okay. You are white. Yes, sir. I am white. Okay. Why do you play the English? C four C. Sir, I like to play the English. Is it inspired by Samai? Yes. Okay. C four. Sir, I uh, learn every opening right. Starting, I played E four, then switch to B four, and now. Now C four. Okay. So you you know everything. That's good. That's good. C four. Actually, my opening is very weak. My end game is strong. C four, C six. Opponent plays C six. Yeah. Knight f three, D five. C D, C D. Okay. Knight C three, Knight f six, B three. I want. B three. Yes. Okay. I like to be fianke to both my bishop. You like to fianke to, but what if d4 now? Where are you planning to take your knight? Knight to maybe d5 and then to a6. So a3, c2 and then. Yeah. Okay, it's not the best, but anyway, b3. What happened next? Knight c6, bishop to d2. Yeah. 
then he played e5 taking the center i played uh, d4 striking the center he played e4 attacking my knight so i moved it to d2 knight d2 then he played a6 i didn't understand what is this a6 means. yeah what if he had taken this pawn on d4 what was your plan instead of a6 i uh, used to sacrifice some of the time the material so i can uh, play e3 with a tempo and uh, develop my e3 okay i know that's not good at all knight c6 then i played e3 i actually defended my no 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 i'm saying that uh, if he takes the pawn on d4 i if he played knight into d4 i might have played e3 e3 and then develop my bishop but then e3 knight there. c6 back is yes, and then my, i have my uh, develop my bishop here where where will you develop the... let's let's be a little more specific e2 or maybe e2 or maybe b5 and no either of the two only one you can play most of the time i develop my bishop on the second rank e2 or g2 okay you play e2 uh let's say i play a uh, bishop e7 then i might have it let castle castle i also castle i think uh, this looks even because my development is your development is more than mine you think because next move i'm just going to play bishop e6 and then i have more space Okay, and you are also a pawn down do you agree with me that this pawn giving up a yes, pawn sir, is not a good you. idea or you think it's sir, a good idea see the thing is uh, what happens many times is that we play chess like we give up a pawn just like that online chess what time control do you play 10 plus yeah. 0 so many times opponent comes under time pressure and then you are able to beat him and stuff like this so very important is not to make such mistakes like this because when you will play a tournament in future your opponents are not going to spare you if you blunder a pawn like this good opponents yeah they will just win the pawn and they will eat it they will nicely digest it and then at the end of the day you will lose the game unless you have some compensation so it's very important here after knight into d4 to see where is it that you can have some compensation like some ideas like knight takes e4 attacking the knight does that work no the problem is that after knight takes e4 d takes e4 the queen defends the d4 knight so that is the reason why that does not work so is there any other move that works and you see that no it's not working i don't have a very good sort of a retort to knight takes d4 and that's when you realize that knight d2 is actually a bad move what else can you think of here instead of knight d2 knight takes e4 can you see the position maybe knight to e5 maybe knight e5 absolutely knight e5 is a very good move and so what i want you is not specifically this move uh to improve for 95 i if it takes uh, i will take with a pawn and you you not just take the pawn you attack his knight and the moment his knight moves you can win the d5 pawn which is attacked twice yeah so it's not it's not so simple i missed that in the game yeah i know but your attitude towards losing a pawn was very casual you were like it's okay if i lose a pawn so what i have development and so on which shouldn't be the case your attitude should be more like what is the best move here i don't want to lose a pawn i don't want to lose material yeah so here he did not take yeah in the game yes sir he took he played a6 he played a6 he might be planning b4 uh, b5 and uh, bishop b7 maybe yeah 
so e3 i played e3 depend depending the yeah. he played bishop to d6 yeah. good move bishop e2 yeah. he played bishop e6 okay knight f1 i was uh, trying to remove it to g3 okay knight f1 he played queen to e7 mm -hmm. i played rook c1 uh, controlling the open file he played h5 attacking on the king side yeah what's the rating of your I opponent was, uh, i like I, his play he is of uh, my level but his lichest rating is less than me okay but he's playing well i like this h5 move because h4 h3 is the plan yes sir sir i stopped it by playing h4 myself yeah but but then now you see your knight g3 idea becomes a little bit problematic because he can yes, take sir. Sir, but I had a different idea because knight f1 is actually defending the uh, main squares, the g3 square, the uh, g3 square and the e3 square. Okay. So I didn't move the knight from here. My game. He played knight g4. Okay. Then I played f3. He can't play bishop uh, g3 because my knight is controlling. Okay, f3 is nice. Very interesting. F okay. E f3, g f3, kicking the knight. He played knight h6, and I played. E4 striking the center. Okay, interesting. But here he played a surprising move, bishop to f4. Bishop mm. f4. Attacking my rook, but I played uh, e into d5, working the pieces, uh, working the bishop and the knight. He took my rook. I took his bishop with my bishop. And then he played queen b4. I might have taken the bishop with my queen. Yeah, yeah. Maybe taking the bishop with the queen, but then he might have played knight d4 here. Um, so. Oh. Uh, well, even this is. I better, played, but b yeah, bishop takes is okay. Queen b4. You just need to save your knight. What did you do? I played bishop d2. Yeah. He played long castle. Okay. I take the knight. I took the knight. And then he played rook h e a. Okay, okay, he's coming. The open, uh, the cent yes, sir. The center is open, so he might attack, sir. But I know he can attack because he's not a good attack. Okay. He's a different. He's a defensive and tactical player. Ah, you knew him. Okay. I took. Oh, yes, sir. He's my oh. friend. I take. Uh, I took on b seven with mm. my pawn. Check. He played king b eight, yeah. and I played knight to b five. Knight b5. Very interesting. Very interesting game. Knight b5. I am actually defending the d4 yeah. pawn. And same time I am attacking yeah. the queen. My knight is also defended yeah. by my But he, I then realized queen into b5, bishop into b5 and bishop into b3 is an idea. Oh, He didn't play this, yeah? In the game? Yes. He played queen to e7. But, but wait, wait, wait. Here, maybe queen e2 is possible. Or, oh yeah. Uh, that problem. I and queen e2, but it's not over. Yeah, the 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 fun still goes on. Like, if he takes here, bishop it takes. You are piece up. So here you are winning. But if he takes uh, a b5, but then you have uh, knight e3. Yeah, and I think you are you are winning. Yeah, so yeah. so maybe this was also not enough. Queen into b5. He played queen e7. Yeah. I give him a check, bishop to f4 check. I thought that's a checkmate he took. <laughs> he took the pawn, yeah. Yeah. And then I played knight to c7, attacking the a6 pawn and mm. the rook. He played queen b4 check. I played king f2. Then he played rook into, rook into d4. Mm. But he misses my next move. Bishop into a6, king to a7, and I played bishop e3, pinning his rook. Oh, brilliant! Actually, you are you are tactically very very strong, yeah. What, what did you solve? A lot of tactics. Yes, sir. My tactical rating is uh, highest rating is 2100. Now it is 2000. Yeah, but it shows in your in your play. You love tactics. You love to calculate. Uh, very nice, very nice. I I like this style of play of yours. Sir, but uh, here was 
another move knight b5 but i thought he would knight bishop e3 is a actual yeah knight b5 yeah here that's all yeah that's also winning I... absolutely yeah it's a four but i think bishop e3 sir, does the job after bishop yeah sir bishop into a6 uh, there is no move uh, actually for him uh... after bishop into a6 there is let me see why is there no move for him can i go sir he might have had king in b8 then knight b8? yes sir knight d5 check yeah sir where knight d5 check so knight d5 check yeah and uh, if a king will be 6 then the same bishop e3 yeah and there is not any other move possible king c6 looks too risky king c6 is there is a king c6 uh, is too risky <laughs> and he knows that uh, i know but how, what would you do i know it's i know it's risky but what would you do but uh, and here he resigned after bishop he e3 resigned a lot of material yes sir Brilliant. sir i actually have one more game very interesting game okay i challenge my i challenge him that i will not castle the game i actually don't castle like castle <laughs> Uh, you like to play oh, i challenge oh, oh, that i will not castle my name is pratik pratik and what was your opponent's name my his name is tejas tejas okay. he's also pretty strong i didn't castle and uh, i played the move king f1 means uh, in the game i played king f1 and uh, played f4 g4 h4 and the game finished okay So the game started D4, ah, D5, have, C4, C6. We have Doctor Beast in the house. Hello, Adiban. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, D4, D4, D5, C4, C6. Yeah. Bishop F4 and Knight F6, Knight C3, E6. The semi slav. You are black. I played G3. Are you white? Yeah, I am white. I am white. Okay. As you said, you like I to be in shadow. I love to see mm, okay. him. When I don't castle, I actually push all my pawns to h4, f4, so that the bishop is actually defending. You, you play like Adiban. It actually defends. So, what? Yeah. Okay. Go on. So he took my pawn on c4, mm. and I played e4, e4 attacking the c4 mm. pawn. He played bishop to bishop to b4. Okay. Winning my knight, threatening knight to e4. Yeah. I played queen c2, queen c2. He played b5, defending the pawn. Okay. I thought, uh, no, I told him, uh, you keep your pawn. I will continue my development. His development is uh, too bad. Okay. I played bishop g2. He played bishop b7. If he picks up this d4 pawn, you are okay. Yes, sir. His queen is in the open. I might. You did uh, not see it, yeah. You are making up things now. Sir. You are like, oh, his queen is in the open. It's okay. But if you had seen it, I'm okay. Yeah, like if you say, okay, I was planning knight e2 here. Yes, sir, bishop g2. Actually, no, sir. I uh, bishop. Sorry, rook d1 and uh, my position. I think you played bishop g2 or rook d1. Sir, I played bishop g2. He didn't took the pawn. He is not a pawn grabber. I know. Okay. Sometimes he and played knight e two, knight e two. No, your uh, black move. What is like black move? Black move bishop b seven. Knight e two. Knight e two and uh, then he played knight two, knight b d seven. Yeah. You knight can't castle. Yeah, that's the problem. Otherwise you would. Yes, sir. Not sir. Not problem. I like. <laughs> I challenge him. He didn't challenge me. I okay. challenge him. I played h4. He played queen b6. I played king f1. Mm. King f1. He played a6, h6. Sorry, a6. Yeah. I played bishop to e3. Computer shows that's not a good move. Yeah, because of knight g4. Actually, computer shows that. Ah. Uh, computer shows that I am lost. Yeah, of course. After of king course. f1. Your pawn down, you can't castle. 
but in a practical game there is still chances yes sir that's the problem if practically that's hard he played queen c7 and i immediately strike with f4 okay he played rook uh, c8 i played bishop to f3 now my plan is to uh, take my king to g2 and double up on the h file maybe if the position opens up okay he played a6 i don't know why he played a6 hmm. maybe solidifying the b5 pawn i played g4 actually bishop f3 also defend the g4 hmm. square i forgot to mention he played c5 yeah looks looks at least he has to do something or else you'll just roll roll over yeah yes sir he played c5 i played g5 played g5 okay he took uh, and i took with the f pawn hmm Because yeah yeah if i took with the h pawn he might have exchanged the rook and i don't hmm. like it if you are attacker then you should not okay he played uh, c into d4 hmm. i took his uh, pawn with my bishop bishop into d4 then he played bishop into c3 oh computer showed that uh, that's not a good move i played d into c3 yeah and then he played e5 e5 i don't like that move i took his knight he took my bishop i took his pawn on g7 mm. attacking the rook he played rook g8 i took the d4 pawn with my knight ah knight because if i had took the pawn with the d pawn he might have got the fast c pawn which is very strong mm. he took my uh, pawn on g7 with his rook i played rook d1 the open file is there so i played rook d1 actually the threat is knight knight f5 the rook moves and then knight d6 check yeah but uh, there is king rook g6 actually mm he played knight to e5 he threatening my bishop but i played a uh, knight f5 f5 attacking his rook he played a uh, rook to g4 very suspicious oh, rook g6 maybe was better yes a uh, rook g6 maybe better but uh, rook g4 rook g4 sacrificing the exchange no but the problem is after you I take there is the... also nd6 check coming up ah nd6 you can yes, he will take right. rook takes 93 check oh the yes, knight e3 check was there i saw that so i took it for and that played queen to e2 controlling the e3 mm. square and now Very i have uh, knight d6 and the same time attacking the he played queen f4 check yeah queen f4 check then i moved my king to e1 and he took my pawn on e4 with my bishop bishop to e4 attacking the knight but i missed uh, a very good move that is rook f1 i missed that i actually played knight d6 check looks also good right is a rook f1 is uh, the best move suggested by the engine i played knight d6 check and he played king f8 mm. now i if i took his rook he will take my rook no no you don't take so his I rook take his, his bishop, bishop yeah i took i took his bishop but he played rook e8 okay and i played a rook d4 mm. Uh, defending the knight f5 he played knight e3 knight e3 means uh, now my queen doesn't defend actually and i can go knight to uh, queen c2 or queen g2 because the knight controls that square mm. so i played a rook h2 not a good move because uh, rook h2 we, you will show in okay He played rook into knight. I played rook into rook. He played queen into rook, and the knight is pinned actually. You will see it. Yeah, I can see it. So I played king d2 because if king, uh, king f2 I can play because of knight g4 check. So I played king d2. Hmm. But this uh, actually draws the game. He played very interesting move b4, which actually draws on the. Wow. Screen. B4 actually. I thought if I took the knight, he will play B into B into C3 with a check. I played. If I play D2, then Queen C2 check and win my rook. So that's why Rook H2 was a mistake. 
Yeah, also queen takes c3 means queen f4 now. And you lose the rook. Queen f4, yes, sir. Yeah. So, yeah. so I played uh, c into b c into b4. Sorry. But the same thing happened. He played c3. Okay. And I took with the king because there are other good moves. He played knight d5 check. I played king b2. Computer says that's a dead draw. There's nothing more to be done here. But I won actually. Mm. Something there. He played queen into b4 check. And one minute. Huh? I played king c1. Just a minute, sir. Yeah. Oh, this is Just a quite a quite a com complex game, yeah. Are eight minutes. Well, in general, you see how different kinds of players are there in the world. Like right now, Pratik, whom we, team, whom we are doing this, such a tactical player. He's calculating everything. Yeah. That's the one which I was looking the game. My mother took it. Okay. No problem. No problem. Sir, but uh, I have the game in this. Yeah, own. no, it's fine. We saw the game. I think you won here. There is a perpetual that your opponent has. Yes, sir, I won. But he did not find it. Uh, what I would say, Pratik, for you is that you are very good tactically. But you must choose good openings. That is very important. First of all, I will recommend you to start playing e4 in your games. Sir, e4, I don't like when opponent plays e5 yeah so but then the... you know you can try for like uh, adiban does f4 very aggressive system yes, sir i play f4 in agri uh, f4 in my every game. or you can play like divya or some other players knight c3 which is so, also a very uh, interesting line playing bishop c4 d3 you know there are many options you should explore them but I think e4 will suit your style a lot because you are active and also very very good thing in you is that you calculate very well. So keep that up, keep practicing that skill but at the same time make sure that in the openings you don't get into bad positions because you are not giving too much uh, emphasis on the opening. So try to play that carefully and once the middle game begins you are very good. <clears throat> But sometimes in end game, sir, I have a, I played a game two days before. In a king pawn end game, I was up by a pawn, but uh, the game ended in a draw. And I was actually very shocked. Yeah, well, it's a draw. well, there are things that will happen as you go on, but generally, what I see from your chess is that you are very strong and you are you are very uh, good tactically. Yeah. So work on that, keep that strength going, create positions where tactics are possible so that you can out calculate your opponent. But at the same time, don't land up in a minus position out of the opening because once you play strong players who get an extra pawn or get a good position out of the opening, they will not leave you. Sir, I know. I think, I think your mother not just took the phone but also your internet connection. Because now your internet is very yeah. bad. But anyway, I think Pratik, we, we spoke about what was needed. Uh, and I think you should work on these things that we discussed today. Uh, and thanks a lot for joining in. Sometimes uh, I play a family in the uh, things you all play. I play a Pratik is going on talking. But, uh, Pratik, Pratik, please, if you see the stream later, please make sure that right now your internet is bad. I can't hear you well. So I have to disconnect you and also I have to end the stream. Uh, but it was a very nice session of Dr. Chess. I hope you guys enjoyed, learned a lot from this. Uh, and also, let's... <coughs> um, Stay in touch. Today there will be no improving chess. It's Thursday. But 
I will be back tomorrow uh, with improving chess in the afternoon and I'll also plan to start a new series in the morning. There are two plans that I have. One is the classics, learn from the classics that are games of famous players. We will, it's a new way yeah, of doing it. We will get to see. And the other one is learning from my own games, mostly my losses that I want to discuss. So let's see uh, how that pans out. Uh, and thank you all for tuning in and stay in touch, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please like the video and see you soon. Yeah.